Hey guys, my lines, welcome. It's Tam here. Excited today to share some heart to heart conversation with you guys because um, there is a fear going around that Amazon FBA is way too competitive and it's not the best time to get into it and it's so saturated and all that. Of course, it's true with any business if you think about it that there is always going to be competition, but there's always innovation, guys. There's always things happening in e-commerce, in business that is going to expand the market for you guys. So I don't understand the fear that people inflict on others because I know that there, there are two types of people, uh, essentially. There are followers and then there are leaders, right? Entrepreneurs tend to be leaders. They're leader of their team if they have, their leader of their emotions, their leader of their fears. They control their fears. They don't let fears control them. So with any business, there is always a risk involved, right? Like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys that there isn't. Of course, there is a chance you will lose money and there will be times that you will lose some money. That's just the nature of business. Business is never linear or a straight line up, right? It's like this, it's a wave. It's up and down, but as long as the consistency of moving up is high, right, that's when you're going to make money. So, guys, like, I mean, the fear of failure is in everybody. It's in me. I always fear that I'm going to fail in something and I shouldn't dab into this and I shouldn't dab into that. But if I did that, I wouldn't be building the profitable business that I have with Amazon right now. I wouldn't be enjoying the things that I do right now. I wouldn't be spending more time with family right now. I'll be stuck in a 9 to 5 doing the same routine every day and following somebody else's lead. So guys, you got to decide what kind of person are you. If you think this is not for you, if you think that you are afraid of fail failure, you don't want to lead anything, you don't want um, to risk anything, then this is not for you. Like it's unfortunate to say, but it's not for everybody. It has to be your personality has to be able to accept some kind of risk. Yes. And it has to be calculated, meaning that you got to do your research, you got to do your due diligence to give yourself the best chance possible. But if you have a fear that Amazon is way too competitive and you shouldn't get into it in 2019 um, or anything like that, I mean, guys, like that's just delusional. Like you don't never want to listen to those people because what happens is not everybody succeeds, right? So people will inflict their failures on you. They will say, you know what? I couldn't succeed and I'm smarter than you. So you're not going to definitely succeed. So that's what people's mentality is. So you got to get away from that and you got to do things for yourself. You got to bring your entrepreneurial spirit out and actually try it out for yourself. And guys, you will amaze yourself. You'll motivate yourself. So that's why it's so important not to be stuck by fears of other people. Is it competitive? Of course it is. It's with anything. It's always competitive. But there are ways and strategies, business strategies to implement to make sure you differentiate yourself, right? Because that's what business is. Every single like look at retail, look at clothing stores, look at department stores. There's always competition, guys. Like but they do things differently. They strategize as business people and they try to implement strategies that will differentiate them, shows people their value, what they can provide for that uh, client, right? So that's what it is, guys. Like, you got to think of this as a business. So if somebody tells you um, that it's too competitive, don't get into it, just tell them, shut the f up. So I'm sorry for, uh, pardon my French, but like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't try it, if you let people stop you, right, then this business is not for you. This is, unfortunately, it's for people who are, um, motivated who people who want to change their lives people who don't want to get stuck with nine to five jobs like this is for people like that that actually um, believe in something bigger than what they have right now or what it could be so they have to, you have to believe in the dream and you're gonna make it reality with Amazon guys like it took me a few years maybe longer than some other people but I made it happen guys like I became a multi six figure six figure seller I'm not a million dollar seller by no means but I have made a very, very comfortable livelihood with this and I know you guys can do it too. So I'm here to motivate you guys. I'm not here to demotivate you guys, derail you guys. So, um, but you have to know yourself guys. Like if you think you don't have the entrepreneurial spirit uh, and you shouldn't get into it, then don't. So uh, that's my two cents on that. So guys, like one of the analogies that I always give people is think of it that um, you're someone, uh, male, female, doesn't matter. You're someone that wants to lose 50 pounds, right? Like, and um, you've gained this over the years and you really want it off, right? The goal seems impossible, right? 
So now think about it. So if I told you that it is possible, you're not going to believe me today, right? But if you start going to the gym and control your diet a little bit, within a month, you will start to lose 10 pounds, right? All of a sudden, you're like, oh, wow, like I actually lost 10 pounds. If I continue this, maybe I can get to the next 10 pounds, right? So you see how it's step by step. The end goal may seem impossible, but if you break it down, guys, it is possible. The first month you lost 10 pounds, second month you continue, you lose another five. You're like, wow, 15 pounds? I only have 35 to go now. Like that, how amazing is that? And then you continue for like three, four months, all of a sudden you've hit 50. That's what it is, guys. That's what Amazon business is. It's really, you gotta build it up one step at a time. You cannot just jump into a six-figure seller or a seven-figure seller. That is not possible and that's why people get scared of it. But if you build it up one brick at a time, remember guys, Rome was not built in one day and that's the same thing, right? So you got to build it one brick at a time and do not be afraid. Take it as you go. Make strategies, make business decisions as you go. Do not let people bring you down because what you don't want in life is dead weight. And unfortunately, sometimes like um, our families discourages or our like um, friends discourages and all that. So you want to get away from that and just let them know, hey, I'm motivated. I'm going to do this um, and I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to prove it to you guys. But the main thing is to prove to yourself that you can do it. That's my two cents on all this, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're motivated to learn more about it. If you want to know more about Amazon FBA, check out my videos in this channel and I've compiled a good list so far and I think this is really going to help you guys based on my own experience and I've actually, um, I bought a lot of courses over the years from different mentors and I've compiled a lot of information and used it and found out what works, what doesn't work. So this is all I'm sharing with you guys in this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe, hit the bell button if you're new, welcome. I really appreciate your viewership and let me know how this video has helped you. Let me know if you've struggled with anything uh, like this in your life. Let me know. I would love to hear about it. And if there is anything I can help you guys with, I would absolutely love that. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.